What is going on guys? My name is Shane for Games and today we'll be talking about how to save mags and what should I cut out. Now I had someone in a previous video, <laughs> they noticed my mags and it was like 28,000 or something like that, but I've been saving those mags for like two months now. Um, I'm very close to a free to play member, I don't like to spend a whole lot of money on the game. Um, my VIP level has just basically gone up over time. And that's just pretty much buying like the, the monthly card to, to get those perks. Um, I've only want, bought once like actual mags to get uh, one of the characters. Other than that, I just basically play with whatever mags that I can get that the game gives me. So there's two, two points that I wanna talk about. One is when you actually become, I think it's level 75, if we go to achievements, we can see that a lot of the mag, and, and here are a few that I haven't done yet, um, because these three characters haven't come out for me yet, and so that is Stark, Comb, and Dark Rukia. Now every time you beat the Head Captain in Duel of Fate, you'll get 500 mags per completion. Now think about how many characters are in this game, and then we'll really quickly see how many 500 uh, mags that you can get. And I think at one point it was like 32,000. Um, when you get those, be very careful what you spend them on because they will go so fast, you won't even know what happened to them. But back to the, the topic of the day is how to save mags. So basically, to save them is to get more than what you're spending. So that means you have to cut out all of this refreshing that you do. So if we go through here, that means cutting out any kind of buying chances or clearing the cooldown on Arena. I don't think you can get a second chance until like, I'm not even sure if that costs mags for, for Soul Trial. Um, Duel of Fate is the only one that I would highly recommend actually spending the mags every time, refreshing it because once you hit 75 and higher, this is the only way that you get the Red Hogioku meaning that you need to, to refresh that. And this is the only thing that I really spend mags on every day. Um, in Plunder, I wouldn't refresh at all. Uh, I don't think that it's worth it, unless you're like right at the very end and you're worried about someone uh, stealing it. Even so, the mags that you're spending is not worth the arena points that you're getting back. Um, it, you, as you can see, I haven't even done Purgatory Trial for today, but uh, I'm not going to restart them at all. I have two chances here, and I think it's 50 and then 100, and I still will not, I won't be refreshing those. Memory Path, I won't buy, be, be buying any chances. I don't know why they don't put a back button on Memory Path. There, there's a back button on like all the other ones except for that one. Um, Impossible Chance is just buying um, the other stuff, like the, the keys. Uh, cross barrier, I, again, I wouldn't pay to do the cooldown on that. Um, and then, I don't even know if you can do a refresh on here. But that's just in the challenges section. So other places that you might be spending your mags would be when you buy stamina. Like I said in a previous video, I don't, right now I'm only buying the first two mags that cost 50 and then I'm just stopping. I'm not buying any more. Reishi is the exact same way, I'm just buying the first one. Hot Springs, I'm not even refreshing at all. I'm just getting the first 10 that you have. So like once you unlock that, that one for today, then I stop. And I don't refresh either one of those. And so guys, that's really all there is to it, is to saving mags, is basically just cutting out what that you absolutely don't need. The only thing that I, like I said, that I would probably spend my mags on every day would be buying a couple, a little bit of stamina and, you know, buying the one ray sheet for the experience and then refreshing all of your dual of fates. I would cut completely out hot springs, um, purgatory trial, anything like that that is refreshing your chances to uh, get more of those. It's not really worth it at the point if you're trying to save mags. Um, I've been saving, like I said, mine for quite a while because I'm saving up to buy the Soul Blade Limit uh, yeah, because it costs 48,000 mags. Um, I've never bought it before, but I'll get there eventually. <laughs> but anyway guys, this is how I save mags. Hopefully you guys can save mags too and you can be getting the items that you want. My name is Shane for Games, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe. And as always, keep on playing.